Hey, it's Brent of the Brent and Brenda team, back today to talk a little bit about the Mortgage Debt Relief Act and how that relates to a short sale. Uh, the Mortgage Debt Relief Act itself is getting a lot of press as of late since the act is set to expire at the end of 2012. Now, is this a big deal? Yeah, it can be for many Americans and specifically depending on what state your primary residence is in, uh, it can have a big impact uh, on many Americans. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Um, a little bit about the act itself. Uh, it was enacted back in late 2007, and it was essentially designed to offer some protection from a, a struggling homeowner who was going through the foreclosure process or going through a short sale with their lender. Uh, let me give you a quick example. You bought your house for, say, $250,000. You decided uh, you had a hardship in your family. You decided you needed to do a short sale. Uh, your lender basically agreed to take $150,000 and allow the sale to happen. Uh, essentially, from the lender standpoint and from an IRS standpoint, there was a cancellation of debt of $100,000. And from the IRS's eyes, they would treat this as taxable income. Uh, you know, that can cause a huge tax bill on $100,000 of what they call phantom income. Um, the act was designed to offer some protection and make sure that those struggling homeowners weren't obligated to pay taxes on that money. Now, as I mentioned, it's set to expire at the end of 2012. Um, is this a big deal? And the answer is yes, but it depends on what state you live in. And the reason being is because many states throughout the United States are what we call recourse states. And there's a dozen or so states that are considered non-recourse states. Now, we live in, in Arizona, and Arizona is one of the 12 that are considered non-recourse states. Now, what that means is this, is um, in a non-recourse state, the only recourse a lender has if you default on your loan is to essentially take your home back. They can't come after you for the difference. Now, in uh, all the other states out there, there's a dozen non-recourse states. Uh, the rest are considered recourse, and the lender could possibly come after them if they chose to. Um, because the, the loans that are issued in Arizona, a non-recourse state, uh, are considered non-recourse loans, there is no cancellation of debt. Uh, therefore, there's no taxes due on any sort of cancellation of debt. So uh, a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of um, misunderstanding of how the Debt Relief Act applies to your situation. Um, it's not a blanket statement to say that you won't owe taxes if you live in Arizona, but it's, this, I hope this helps you kind of get a gauge for, you know, will I or won't I? And if you've been avoiding uh, thinking that maybe you're going to miss the boat on doing a short sale because uh, the act is setting, getting ready to expire at the end of this year, uh, you may not owe taxes anyway. So it's something to think about. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you would like more information on this, you can always visit us online at www.myarizonashortsaleteam.com for more information.